The first quarter of 2019 has given us blockbuster after blockbuster of games, and with still 9 months remaining, the release of these AAA titles might have overshadowed the future release of other games. Thus, we have compiled again the top upcoming games that you may not heard of but better check out. In no particular order, the first one is Anno 1800. This is the seventh installment of this popular city building game, and a direct contrast from its predecessor, the Anno 2205. Coming from the futuristic city with flying cars and tall buildings located in the moon, now we come back to Earth in the dawn of industrial era. The setting is no mere of a decoration, but affects the gameplay itself, from the unrest of the local workforce to the pollution that may plague your entire city. Taking the best features of the previous iterations and adding new elements such as tourism to the city's attractiveness, expeditions, cultural buildings, and much more, Anno 1800 is a game worth waiting for. From the studio behind arguably the best Fallout game comes The Outer World, a sci-fi, semi-open world first-person RPG that lets you customize your own character and with the unique feature of not only adding perks to your seemingly perfect self but flaws as well. Explore this unknown galaxy and discover the conspiracy with only yourself or with a companion, each having its own unique background and wonderful stories. The combat includes both melee and firearms, with weapons ranging from critical bats and pistols to funky science weapons such as a shotgun. With how Fallout 76 became much of a disappointment for many, the outer world may finally show Bethesda how a Fallout game should be made. World of Warship in old school pirate mode. One of our most favorite Assassin's Creed game is Black Flag, but not because of the assassination features, but more because of the open world sailing feature and great naval battles. And this new game, called Skulls and Bones, has expanded that Caribbean vibe sailing, removing the assassins and focusing more on the pirates. So, lower the sails, load up the cannons, and venture forth towards reaches beyond imaginations. Take advantage of the wind, and board and capture enemy ships, pillage to your heart's content, and drink booze together with you mates. And maybe in this game, we will finally know what to do with a drunken sailor early in the morning. Do you know what's better than a first-person RPG? A first-person RPG in a Mac. And MacWarrior 5 Mercenaries is an upcoming game precisely about that. It's literally been decades since the previous single-player MacWarrior 4 was released. And finally, this direct sequel, a single-player first-person action game, will finally come. Set during the third and the fourth succession wars in the series canon, players will be faced with decisions to make on which mercenary contracts to accept, where they should concentrate their efforts, and how to manage resources to upgrade and repair their units. So rejoice, my mech-loving warrior friends, because we are finally be sitting again in front of a heavy walking robot and destroy everything against our path, be it tanks, buildings, or the environment itself. The, Empire. the next game in our list is the next Total War game. Like its predecessor, Total War Three Kingdom is a turn-based real-time strategy game. Set in the Three Kingdoms period, Players control one of the game's 11 factions, who must eliminate other factions, unify China, and become its ultimate ruler. The game features two game modes. First is the Romance mode, where the generals have special powers based on the Three Kingdoms novels, and the Records mode, which presents a more historically accurate version, stripping generals with their superhuman strengths. Maintaining that epic slugfest over bridges, brilliant cavalry charges to turn defeat into victory, or skillful use of terrain to force overwhelming enemies into ferric victories that win wars even if they lose battles, Total War Three Kingdoms is a game we're excited to be playing. This game may not be released this year, 
but the slightest chance it may do so have truly hyped us up. Mount and Blade Bannerlord is the eagerly awaited sequel to the acclaimed medieval combat simulator and role-playing game Mount and Blade Warband. Set 200 years before the first game, it expands both the detailed fighting system and the world of Calradia. Bombard mountains with siege engines, establish a secret criminal empire in the back alleys of cities, or command your army and charge into the thick of chaotic battles in your quest for power. The sequel features improved graphics and animation, and can accommodate more NPCs than ever in the battlefield. The modding capability is also always a huge welcome, adding more replayability to an already very long game. It's been years since the hype started, and it only grew stronger the nearer the release date becomes. We hope Mount and Blade Bannerlord will finally be released this year and fulfill our thirst to this chaotic medieval RPG. Seventh in our list is due to its surprisingly epic trailer, The Atomic Heart. Here we step foot in an alternate reality of Soviet Union, Mother Russia for those who didn't know. Technological revolution has taken place. Robots, internets, and holograms has been invented. But all these innovations are submerged in the atmosphere of communism, confrontation with the imperialism of the West, and all political and social aspects of the time. The gameplay seems like a Fallout or Bioshock game. Either way, both are great games, and this new IP being compared to those is already a huge achievement. The real star of the trailer, however, is the world design, which maintains its whole Soviet-era theme park and terribly awry ambience admirably. Unfold the secrets, restore peace and order, and show the motherland what you got. Know the secrets behind the theory of evolution. Ancestors Humankind Odyssey is a third-person open-world survival game where you explore, expand, and evolve to advance your clan to the next generation in this exhilarating new adventure from the creators of Assassin's Creed. Here we explore a huge ruthless world, from swinging through tree branches in the jungle to stalking a prey across the golden savanna grassland with self-made primitive weaponry. Evolve and affect the outcome of the future generations through what we hone and do today, and find strength in numbers, creating a family, and forming a clan in order to work together to ensure the survival of our species. This game has a truly unique setting rarely explored by any other games, and it's just right we put it in here in our most awaited game of 2019. There are very rare good MMORPGs these days, and hopefully, Ashes of Creation can live up to its expectations. This game takes place within a medieval fantasy setting, blending imaginations with great graphics, albeit in none so good animations. But who cares about animations in an MMO? This game brings you a sandbox type of MMO that lets all the players influence and shape the history and the world itself. Get a land and start farming, and maybe in the future, it will turn out to be a huge bustling town and a trading hub for many. The game currently has 8 planned classes and 8 races with in-depth customization. The large PvP battles also looks promising, based on its early access game, Ashes of Creation Apocalypse. We don't need another WoW healer or another WoW clone game, we just need a unique MMO that we may live for a thousand of hours again, and Ashes of Creation may be the one we are looking for. And the last, but definitely not the least, is Star Wars Fallen Jedi Order. We had a lot of Star Wars game in the past. Some are great, some are not really worth mentioning. But this upcoming game sure looks to be a kicker. This game is still shrouded by mystery, but having the writer of the Knights of Old Republic 2 to be present in this new game made everyone expecting high hopes in its story. The gameplay will as usual include slots of guns, but recent leaks makes us believe that it may as well finally includes proper lightsaber duels again. We may be trying to hold down the hype for this one, but Star Wars is Star Wars, and be it good or bad, we are sure to be looking for it and expect high things from it. And those are the top 10 upcoming games that we are dying to play for the remaining months of 2019. Do you agree with our list? I tell you what, you got a point there. Or do you have some other games in mind? If so, Please tell us in the comment section below for us to find out. And oh, 
If you want more info on the new games and latest technologies, don't forget to like the video and click the subscribe button. Peace out!